Hello students, we can see the line inclined to both the planes, both VP and HP. So this is the final projection of lines. Here the question is a line AB 80 mm long is 30 degree inclined to HP and 45 degree to VP. The one end A is 20 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of lines. So we can clearly understand the question. First what we need to do in this line problem is very simple whatever the data given in the question we need to plot it first. We need to plot it first. Already we have seen the basic line problem and also projection of points. So all the way, all the way problem we just drawn first the xy line and after that the one end we are just starting from the one end. So likewise here also we can start. So for roughly I will make a diagram here. So in this diagram so in the question what it is given is a line AB length the true length is given. It is 80 mm. 80 mm the true length is given and next it is inclined with HP 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. So one data second data and third data is given and the fourth data is one end A is how much 20 mm above above HP. So this is the fourth data and the same A is 10 mm in front of VP. So this is the fifth data. So to solve the line problem totally we need it all the five datas. Here it may be the data may be given or not. It may be a zero or either 15 mm or 20 mm even 50 mm 50 mm also will be there. Anyhow the data should be present. It, they simply they can give the line uh, point A is on VP and 20 mm above HP. Even though this is also on VP means the value will be zero. This is also has to be considered as one of the value. So now we can proceed the problem. So roughly I will draw it here. So first I need to draw the XY line. Then I am going to draw one end projection line here. And I am going to mark it 20 mm above and 10 mm in front. So by here I will be drawing the locus lines. Locus lines. I already drawn in the previous basic line problem. I drawn it. Next here it is given as 30 degree. So I just made it this two value. These two values are given in the question. These two values I just plotted it here. Next coming to this here it is given 30 degree inclined to HP and 45 degree inclined to VP. So by using of the protractor I am just marking a 30 degree line a length of line I don't know the length I just mark it next from here I will be marking a 45 degree inclined line and also here this also I just mark all the four datas I have plotted except this the true length 80 mm which one is true length this is the length here I have with use of compass I will mark 80 mm and here with use of compass I will mark 80 mm here so I now I got two ends that is a free end on the free end I am just going to draw the locus. I am just going to draw the locus on it. So now I got it the new one. New points. Now here there is a thing. Whenever the true length is given. Whenever the true length is given. We need to start with a straight line and then an arc. To be very clear. We need to start with a straight line and then an arc. This is the way. Okay either this way or this way. We need to start with a straight line and then an arc. So where to take the arc and to where up to where to draw the straight line I will explain it here. Here what I am going to do it is from this end free end I am going to draw uh, this is a true length from this free end I am going to start a straight line up to where I am going to start start it end it is up to the Next views. This is what view? This is front view. Which one is the next view? This is the next view. Up to the next views starting point locus. <coughs> so from here also up to the next views starting point locus. 
So again we got another two endpoints, three endpoints. So here I am going to do by use of your compass, this is as the center and this distance as radius. I am just going to make an arcs. Here, this is a center and this distance is radius. I am just going to make an arc like this. So now I got these two ends. <coughs> now I am going to join these two. This is the view line. This is one view line and this is another view line. This arc, making the arc will be considered as the rotating line. So that the line method is called as rotating line method. So here we are going to give the name for all the points and also making the dimensioning so that we can complete the problem. So this is a way of proceeding it. This is a rough one. I will make it in a paper, neat paper. To start the problem, first I told to draw the XY line with any of the, for the required length also we can take it. So I am going to draw the XY line in this way y vp hp i just drawn next i just made an xy line one end projection point so this end i am going to select so here i am going to make it a 90 degree line here we are not using pro drafter scale so we need to mark like this. Just making the 90 degree lines. So like this way, I just made it. So here it is told one end projection. Uh, it is A is 20 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. It is 20 mm above HP. 20 mm. This is 20 mm and here 10 mm in front of VP. This is the both the points. For this points, I am just making the horizontal lines. Here also I will make it. For a lengthy line, I will make it. I will explain why we are making this much of length. Okay, and next, I need to mark it a 30 degree incline to HP. So always this is HP means the inclination will be above the HP. This is VP means the inclination will be below the VP. So by practice only you will be get understanding this. So 30 degree. I am just marking 30 degree. And here I am going to mark 45 degree. This is also given in the question. So this is 45 degree. I am just marking the both. So here the line length is 80 mm. But I am just extending the line here. I am just extending the line like this. And here also I am just extending the line like this. So by using your compass, you can measure it. It is 80 mm. So, keeping this as a center, you can mark this is 80 mm. And this as a center, you can mark 80 mm here. Next, you got both ends. So, for this end, we need to draw the locus. So, to draw the locus, I am just Extending it like this. I am just drawing the locus lines like this. And I already told whenever the true length is given means what we need to do we have to draw the straight line first. To draw the straight line, first I am just marking it, this as the base one. To make a parallel line, I am just making this as the base one. Next, I am just rolling it. Here, this is the first one. Up to the next view's starting point locus. Up to here, I am just drawing. And for this also, I am just extending the line. 
up to the next views starting point locus to be very clear uh, this is a starting point locus and this is a starting point locus that means this is front view and this is top view and in between there is a xy line so we have to be very clear on it next just taking the compass just taking the compass and marking this distance as radius keeping this as the center this starting point as the center and this distance as radius i am just making an arc like this okay and next here in the top view this top view starting point as the center and making this distance as radius making this distance as radius i am just making an arc like this so this is a way of proceeding the problem next i am going to join these two the starting point and this newly crossed point i am just making it a dark line look at here here also i am making it with a dark line this line also can be darkened this line also can be darkened here also this line can be darkened look at here this is the true length this line will be length is atmm this line is also atmm so it is a true length and next here this is the front view line and this is a top view line there is one similarity that is these two lines this is the starting point end projection line starting point end projection line and this will be the end point end point end projection line these two will be parallel so I, it will be clearly shown it here these two are now parallel so this is a similarity for every problem while drawing the line projection of lines inclined to both the plane the starting end projectors will be always will be parallel so now here we are how we are going to give the name that is this is already i told this is a dash and this will be a okay and the view line only we can make it fast that is b dash and this is b and what about these points this can be set as b1 dash if this is b1 dash means automatically this will be b1 okay already we have named as b1 and b1 dash so that we can name it as here b2 if this is b2 means this will this will be b2 dash automatically it will be come like this now how we are going to make the dimensioning so that is what are the known dimension given dimension that is th this one is 10 mm and this is 20 mm 20 10 we can mark it here and this angle is given here 30 degree and this angle is also given 45 degree okay one two three four four data we have drawn what about the next one the true length so to make the true length just listen how i am going to make it just drawing a parallel line to it already we are just making a 10 mm away but here it is not like that uh, if you are going to take 10 mm away means here it will be crossing it will be crossing the line itself the diagram itself so here we should avoid this so to make it so away from this diagram so here we can draw it so here we can draw a parallel line so that the end line will be here like this it can be drawn in this order look at here the dimensioning line should not intersect the diagram should not overcross the diagram so that is very important so here the length is ATMM. So totally the five data we have marked. So here also we can make it as the projection of lines and here the all dimensions are in MM. <coughs> that also you can write it. So and one more thing, this is the reference line means here also you can write it as this is locus of A. Whatever it is, if it is given a CD mean this is C dash. Here it is given as AB.
look at here I have just returned all the names in a single line locus of e dash locus of a dash locus of a locus of b look at this problem <coughs> the problem can be in different way if the question is given this is to instead of 20 mm they have given us 50 mm means this length will be coming here instead of 10 mm if it is given as 20 mm or 40 mm or 60 mm means the, this point will come at here okay either you can start from here otherwise you can draw, draw the diagram in the line in this order so there are two methods are there so uh, this is the way of doing the line problem for this case this kind of data is given means next video we can see about the uh, next case